heels of a huge success. Telltale Games takes an interesting comic series based off the concept and brains of Bill Wingham and takes it to the video game world. While this is not perfect, this is definitely something you might want to take a look at. This is The Wolf Among Us. Again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> While I'm very familiar with Telltale Games Why with brilliant storytelling, this one really blew me out of the water. A hugely captivating murder story with some compelling and interesting characters. While given it's not completely original, it is very interesting that they made the story all their own. No ties to the comic besides the concept itself. So this dark and twisted story starts off in Fable Town, a fictional area in New York where all your classic childhood fairy tale characters live. Only difference is this is not your childhood fairy tales. These characters are struggling, some living in poverty, even resulting to prostitution and various other crimes to survive. The character you play is Bigby, the cigarette puffing big bad wolf and local sheriff, trying to put his bad reputation away while keeping the fables from ripping each other apart. So right off the bat, you're dropped into a dark and gritty noir setting, flickering lights, darkness around every corner, and immediately introduced to the ribbiting slumlord by the name of Mr. Toad and the town's local drunkard in a drunken rage, beating on a local prostitute by the name of Faith. From there, you have coffee with the woodsman. We had coffee. And after having a short conversation with Faith, you return to your apartment. And needless to say, not much later, she ends up losing her head. And it's up to you to track down who did it. From there, you'll meet a cast of interesting characters. All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Kill whatever this thing is. And be huffing and puffing on a major two hour cliffhanger. This is another one of Telltale games that are tailored by the way you play. Very much similar to The Walking Dead. And while I do feel the choices you make in this episode aren't that meaningful, I have a feeling as the series progresses on, they are going to become more meaningful. Oh. His daughter, Faith. Graphically and presentation-wise, this game is a cell-shaded masterpiece, encapsulating right from the start with amazing-looking textures and visuals and scenes that look ripped from the pages of a comic book. And that's pretty much all I can really say. This game is amazing from the graphical standpoint and beautiful. Find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? The controls are pretty standard for Telltale. It's a point and click game where you use WASD for walking and various other actions. I do feel it's very tight and responsive, but maybe once or twice it felt a bit clunky to me, but maybe that's just me. Moving on, the conclusion. While I do feel this game is somewhat overpriced at the price point of $25, I do have to consider that's for the whole season and this is only episode one. People are nearly paying double for that for games that only last maybe a matter of six hours. So, it ain't that bad when you look at it from that perspective. If you like The Walking Dead or any other story-based game, I would definitely give, recommend you to check this out. So as always, folks, thank you and have a wonderful evening.